Do it. I must be this amazingly interesting afternoon. Thank you very much indeed. I'm Chris Goodall. I'm an angel investor in Spinetic Energy. Spinetic Energy makes these. And at this point, you'll say, how could anybody be sufficiently insane to want to invest, like me and Robert Trezona from IP Group who smoked this morning, in a sector which has consistently cost its investors money? Well, the reason is this. The team of uh, entrepreneurs and engineers who've built this business so far, and it's been going approximately three years ago now, come from the automotive component industry. They are trained in making millions of components to extremely high levels of reliability at costs in the cents, not the dollars. So here we've got the uh, CEO of the business, Dr. Giles Rodway, a PhD in materials engineering from Oxford, sitting on that turbine and at the same time being able to hold it with one finger. This is an extraordinary piece of engineering and the intention is to make small wind turbines so cheap that they can undercut conventional wind turbines. They'll never get the capacity factors that a large wind turbine does. They'll never get the efficiency. But what they can do is provide electricity at a much lower price. And they do that in a variety of different ways. But primarily, what Giles and his colleagues have done here is build an extremely simple piece of engineering which can be made using conventional tools uh, laser cutting and 3D printing out of a tiny number of components using extremely low cost materials. Less than 3% of the weight of that is anything other than aluminium. Aluminium recycled is not expensive. This is a technology which can be demonstrably much cheaper than anything available for wind collection anywhere in the world. <clears throat> so what Giles Rodway and his colleagues are doing is building something that is not only very simple and cheap to create, to manufacture, but also can be put in the ground anywhere in the world by low-skilled labor after the turbine has been shipped in an ISO container to a zone that may be hundreds of miles from what we would conventionally call civilization. Everything about that design, as it's been developed over the last three years, is intended for automotive-style mass production. Millions of units per year. Huge economies of scale result from that. And it's meant to be portable, plonkable. You take it, you put it in the ground, and it works. And it works reliably for a very long time. And the intention is to use these technologies to push down the levelized cost of electricity to levels below those obtained by even solar power in most parts of the world. The intention is, over the next few years is to develop the product so that it moves down a curve, addressing first the markets which are paying enormous sums of money for electricity at the moment. The most obvious example being the military in the field. The cost of delivering diesel to a war zone or indeed to a, a, a zone of destruction such as Haiti is experiencing at the moment is enormous. We are talking of hundreds of thousands possibly of dollars per megawatt hour of electricity. That market increasingly see, is seen, increasingly seen by people uh, who are building microgrids as being very large indeed and, and is prepared to pay very high prices for turbines. The next step down, remote mines and islands. Now, every single mining company in the world is developing plans to get renewable electricity to replace diesel in their mines, with consolidated gold fields, for example, saying that 25% of its energy supply is going to be renewable in five years' time. That's a market very easy for Spinetic to address. And so, further down, until the point where we can see in the projections, and these people have done this many, many times, levelized costs of electricity well below the conventional wholesale price in countries like the UK. Our funding history is that we are so far have raised 1.2 million from IP Group, from Lark Energy, which is one of the top five UK solar PV developers, and we are now in the process of raising a supplementary round, which I'll participate in, and which Rob as owner of IP Group will participate in, Existing investors will commit at least 300,000 and probably most of that funding round. But the reason we're really talking here today is by the middle of next year, we'll face a decision about how to manufacture this in very large scale. And at that point, we'll be raising more significant sums of money. And we would love to talk to people here about that round. This is how we're going to proceed over the next year. 
we're going to put um, four to six turbine structures in, in place over the next two and a half months. During the winter of 16, 17, another 10, and out to around 20, probably in windy locations around the UK, just to prove the low, the low cost of electricity coming from. And then in the middle of next year, we face a decision as to whether manufacture ourselves or whether we can get enough attention and interest from a large-scale contract manufacturer to move immediately to contract manufacturing from someone like, um, uh, from, from one of the main uh, people in that industry like Foxconn. That's uh, a bit about spinetic energy. I hope I've convinced you that we might, as investors, not quite be as mad as you might have imagined that we are. It's a long way to go, but this is an extraordinary technology with engineers at the heart of it who really understand how to make things in large quantity with extremely high reliability. Thank you. Cool. Well done. Thank you.